car here. Let's create a text card in Power BI. Now the way we're going to do that is the same way we created a simple card. Except this time, instead of entering the values, we're going to find a text card. So in order to do this, we're just going to do the one, two, three card, which is the card. And then I'm going to do the product category. Now, when I do the product category, it's basically going to give me the first product category in alphabetical order. Now, if I wanted to change this, I will come here to this drop down and then I will select last, which will give me the last product category in alphabetical order from the bottom to the top. Let's go ahead and change that back to first. We can also look at the count of that product category and this will give us the total count of the product category and we can also do an account distinct which will also give us a distinct count of the product category and how many times it showed up in that visual. And if we change this back to first, let's create a scenario. So if we add a table here and I'll just expand this table across, give us some space. And let's just say we're going to do a product category, sales, profit, region. Now you see that we have some different values here. So imagine if we went ahead and did this and we've seen that food and spices, bread and soup are our top three for the sum of sales. How do we get these text cards to indicate that? Well, let's just do this. So in our text card, we're gonna have filters. So let's just drag and drop a filter here. So when you drag and drop a filter here, this gives you the ability to change the filter type. So we wanna go away from the basic filtering and we wanna go into top end filtering. Top end filtering gives us the ability to create a ranking. So the ranking that we wanna do this value by is the sales now once we add our sales in here we're going to just say let's give us the number one ranking and then we can clearly see in our table here that the number one ranking is food and spices and next all we have to do is click apply filter so if we apply that filter we see that food and spices is now the number one ranking and then we can just come here to rename our visual and then let's just say this is number one that's not number one so we just move that over to the corner. Let's add another card. In this card, we're gonna add profit. And let's just say we wanna add the one, two, three, four. We wanna add the fourth ranking in profit. So let's just add our product category. We have our product category. Once again, it's gonna to default to that first product category in an alphabetical order. And we add our ranking by just adding this to change our filter type we're going to go to top end and the one that we want is one two three four so we're just going to hit four here then we want to add our values which is the profit by value profit and then we say apply filter so that one should be beef so when we hit apply filter here boom we get beef and then we can just come here and rename our visual to number four rank now that's number four ranked and I'll just do the same here and then let's just add one more so imagine we wanted to get some sum of quantity a sum of quantity card so we'll just add another card here and then I'll shrink it down as much as I can to get it in here Alright, so they want to add a product category, a note that we will always default to that alphabetical order. Next thing we want to do here is drop this here. We want to change our basic filter and type to top end. And then we want to do by values of quantity because we're doing quantity now. And then let's just say we want to pick number two. So let's just change this to top two. And then we're gonna apply the filter and we should get bread. Boom, and we get bread. Then we can just come here and just say number two ranked. And that is how you create a text card in Power BI.